This is my Divine Principle book. Today we are going to talk about the fall of man, section 2. Now, section 2 is the motivation and the process of the fall. Human beings have a spirit self and a physical self. So the fall happened in two areas, spiritually and physically, resulting in fallen man who has a fallen spirit and a fallen even physiology, physical life. His physical life and his physical actions are fallen too. Let's talk about the spiritual fall. The spiritual fall happened when Archangel Lucifer and Eve entered into a sexual relationship on the spirit plane. The Bible refers to this when it says that she tasted the fruit uh, in the presence of the serpent. She saw that it was good. And then she gave some to her husband. That was the physical fall. So the spiritual fall happened between uh, Lucifer and Eve where he infects Eve with his false sex motive, false sex values, false sex concept, and false sex experience. So Eve and Lucifer are having a sexual relationship for the wrong reasons in an unprincipled way because angels are not supposed to have a sexual relationship with a human being. And so then Eve realizes that uh, Adam is supposed to be her husband. She, she gains uh, the archangel's wisdom and she realizes that Adam's supposed to be her husband and she thinks it's a pretty cool idea to kind of fix things, not by going to God, but by going to Adam and giving him some of the fruit because she gained enough wisdom to realize that that's her originally intended husband. Now, none of this happened under the guidance of God. And so it's safe to say that regardless of the fact that they didn't know what was missing from the sexual experience, because they did it without God, they were cut off from elements that God intended them to experience within the entire sexual experience itself. So we have sort of like a faulty, incomplete, as I said before, warped concept of sex. Question, why did Archangel Lucifer do this? It's because he felt lack of love. He was counted on by God. Angels were counted on by God. God had given take action with angels in creating the entire universe. So billions upon billions of years, really, God has had this relationship with angels. And then here comes this human being and God treats them as a child. So the relationship between God and Lucifer is sort of like um, a rich man and their butler. And then here comes the uh, children. And as soon as the butler starts to realize that the children are going to take a, a, a higher position in the family, uh, he starts to feel as though he's being diminished. And this is the feeling that the Archangel Lucifer began to have. And he wanted to make a grab at the central position in human society, a society that was about to be born through Adam and Eve's proper relationship. And he knew enough to know that it was going to happen through the sexual organs of human beings. So he coveted it. And and uh, he wished he, he could take Eve as his wife. And on a spiritual plane, he actually did. And it discorrupted her sense of who she is. She was no longer God's daughter anymore. She became the wife, actually. She, she became the wife of the fallen archangel. She learned to love him, and this changed her identity. And now uh, in this warped state, she goes to Adam, and he can't fulfill his role of being her husband because she's actually, um, she's actually spiritually still psychologically the wife of another guy the, this archangel and so adam adam's experience of love is wanting for a lot he doesn't even fully have the heart of his wife and this stormy relationship between the mother and father of human beings is the reason why um, we are psychologically emotionally incomplete and we are in need of the right relationship parents and children and we cannot do that without true parents adam and eve became false parents and their descendants couldn't their descendants cannot receive god's true lineage and no male female pair that ever was created after adam and eve could stand as true parents since they themselves were cut off from god's lineage and god has receded from human sexuality and satan has occupied that space and this is how satan can claim ownership can claim parenthood of every single child because God receded from the sexuality that Adam and Eve participated in uh, and, 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 and the Archangel Lucifer has had that honor of being the impetus and reason why human beings are even born so that's why the Bible says we are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. There are some results from this faulty sex, this bad relationship. We've talked about some. We're going to talk about some more tomorrow. We're going to talk about the commandment tomorrow. All right. Talk to you later.